up to the end. Again, the other issue, at some point our budget for development was 1.2 million uh, billion. At the moment, we are just surviving on 813, the money that goes towards. So at the moment, we don't have any extra development money remaining in the county. Whereas we know very well that under the uh, Equitable Development Act, 40% of the money is supposed to remain at the county for county flagship projects. At the moment, it's zero. We are just uh, pushing to enable us to just maintain that 813. Otherwise, there was an idea that we should cut the development from 813 to maybe 600. But that one cannot happen now. We still have um, where to get money so that we, 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 we sort the deficit. And I want to request them. Some of us, we, if you look around, you will not see any vehicle for the governor. I went to Nairobi, my, my car broke down, and I had to use other means. Right now, I'm using a, a vehicle belonging to a CEC. But I'm not complaining because the most important thing is to offer services to the people of Elgeo Marakwe. We are telling the county assembly, you can still write reports within the uh, county assembly uh, premises. You don't need to go to Kisumu, you don't need to go to Mombasa so that you can generate reports that will uh, 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 ensure that Elgeo Marakwe resources are well taken care of. And lastly, on the issue of uh, coast workers, it's so saddening when you hear people saying that even acting chief officers, st staff that we found, they were in national government, they came to, um, they were devolved to counties, and now they are claiming that they are cost workers. Yes, we agree that there are some issues. At the moment, when you look at our uh, staff um, establishment, you'll realize that maybe there is a member of staff who works in uh, roads, but the payroll is under. Uh, water or under finance. Those are small issues that we are telling the assembly. Before you produce side reports, can you invite the members of the county assembly, uh, the, the, the CECs, to appear in the committees so that they can explain this? Yes, I know that they invited the CECs, but they are not able to attend to that meeting because we are attending another important meeting with UNDP in Mombasa. Remember, for us now to even have a training outside the county, it has to come from donors. We don't have money in the budget to facilitate our staff for training. And like other counties, what they are doing. So they should also uh, be considered. And I'm very <laughs> much disappointed when I see a member of county assembly chairing a committee and writing a, a, a report indicating an employee, an essential employee in his ward, like ECD teacher, AI examinator, as coast workers. As member of county assembly, by now they should know because I know an average in every in every ward there are about 20 schools. Th that means that there are only 40 ECD teachers. So how do they expect a governor to know all the employees in the county when themselves they cannot even identify staff in their wards? That is very ridiculous, and we must we must stop. So I think uh, that is in a nutshell what we. Remember, we started by calling out to CRA that if we continue giving us three and, uh, below four, uh, five billion, we'll not be able to function as a county. Because again, people claim that uh, wage bills are the ones killing counties. But we must be alive to the fact that every year there is a nearly increment for staff salaries. We have CBS beyond our control. CBS alone for our health staff, the uh, agreements that are signed in Nairobi, it has taken over 400 million from our budget. Those ones are things that, as a governor, I'm not in control of. We have hardship allowance in Elgeo Marakwet, another about 300 million. Again, as a governor, I cannot just wake up and say, uh, hardship allowance, which is enjoyed by all staff in Elgeo Marakwet, both county and national, should just be scrapped like that. In fact, we are appealing to the national government and CRA that they should consider the hardship counties and give us additional uh, uh, money as conditional uh, grants so that we will be able to cushion the hardship allowance that we pay to our staff.
So in the, uh, what we are saying is that as much as we are not saying the county assembly is a problem, they have been given 566. It's their uh, rightful share. But on, on this side, I'm saying I've been given 535. But I've not taken 535, I've reduced to 360. So in the spirit of uh, maintaining devolution, they should also see some amount. Because we know a good example, if they reduce the number of uh, uh, visits to wards from four to two per committee, we'll be able to save about 65 million. And that will go to uh, meeting this. Because alternatively, what we have as a county for us to function is to reduce the 813 million so that we, 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 we sort the deficit that we have. But the members of public, will they allow us to reduce the, 800, the minimum 813 million that they have? I don't think they will agree with that. Yeah? Some of us, we don't need to be on allowance on a daily basis. And let me ask you a good example. If, if members of staff are paid salaries, do they need to be paid allowances so that they visit their workstations? And that is what is happening in, in, in other quarters. People are paid allowances, they are paid salaries. MCA wants to be paid allowance to visit his ward, which is his home. I don't think there is an MCA who has been elected in a place outside his home. You water on a rude quao. And you don't need to be on allowance. Can you release these allowances so that we cater for services to our people? As much as we are talking about uh, deficits in uh, uh, recurrent, we are talking about important and essential services. We can build nice hospitals, we can equip them and, and, and even uh, buy expensive drugs, but without the staff to offer these services, it will be useless. Now we are telling them, can they bring those ideas? <laughs> Let them bring those ideas and tell us how this budget can balance. And I would request that when they are bringing the ideas, they return the ceiling for the executive to 535, put the uh, county assembly ceiling at 566, then they last the remaining out it can be used without deficits and even having more development money than what we have at the moment. If that is lack of ideas, um, uh, my office is open. Let them come with the ideas. If, 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 if they have other uh, ways of balancing this budget, that we don't know, then we are ready to implement that. So long as development money for my people is not reduced. Your 